Good evening and welcome to episode 15. Great to have you on board this evening. Um, I was going to be two and two this evening, but I'm going to throw out real, uh, a real quick, real quick one one. Boy, that was proper English. That doesn't help me sound like a genius, does it? How am I ever going to convince you that I'm an elitist if I don't speak with more eloquence? Anywho, I want to jump right into this. This will probably be the shortest one I do. I know I say it all the time and I start rambling on and on, but I do want to, as always, say a couple things before I go on. One, I do appreciate, I am thankful and grateful for everyone that listens to uh, these videos or watches these episodes. I'm, I'm thankful for that. I truly am. No matter what some may think and or anything like that, I, I am truly respectful of the fact that you take the time to watch. Positive or ne negative, I do appreciate you taking the time. I'm thankful that the Lord's put me in this position to be here. So that I'm very, very happy with. The other thing I want to mention again, I... Uh, I promise you, there's no maliciousness involved in this. There's no nefarious motives. We are going to be eventually covering a lot of the translations, and I, I, I want to be very specific with it and, and uh, point out certain things that I think are more important than others. And uh, I mean, because there's a lot. Like I said before, I have so much that I'm not going through that I'm going to tally up when we get to the end, when we're finishing Revelations. I'm going to tally up what I've left out, including omissions, um, the user James, uh, oh, I'm going to get the name wrong, I think it was Sheffield, um, he are pointing out a lot of different translations that I will be covering, and great job for bringing those out there because there's some omissions that we'll go through um, that aren't even in there, never mind, you know, missing part of the verse, some are just not there. All right, well, let's just jump right into this. Mark chapter 13, verse 14, if you have the King James Bible, please open it up. If you have ESB, keep uh, please open it up, and if you have both, open them up, like myself, I have both. Um, we're going to start with uh, Mark thirteen fourteen. But when ye shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing where it ought not, let him that readeth understand. Then let them that be in Judea flee to the mountains. And in Mark chapter 13, verse 14, in the ESV, the English Standard Version, um, I'm not going to make a joke about the title because I'm trying to actually be serious about this. Someone did put something on some elected standard, something like that. Um, yeah, I mean, he had a point. Um, people can choose what they choose. That's okay. God gives an amazing free will to do so. ESV then reads, but when you see the abomination of desolation standing where he ought not to be, let the reader understand. Let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. So what happened? We see right off the bat, what do we see? We see that the uh, uh, Daniel the prophet is gone. What was the point in removing that verse? We go, oh, it's in another place. It's, it's somewhere else. Really. That's your answer. Because if you look at uh, Matthew 24, 15, what does it read? It reads, When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place, Whoso readeth, let him understand. Well, there you go, Stephen. It's in 24, 15. What do you care that it's not Mark 13, 14? What do I care? I care that you left it out when it was there. Yes, we're going to get into the conversation now. Well, the early manuscripts, you don't think Wycliffe had information? You want to cite the Sinaiticus and the Vaticanus and so forth like that, but if the Roman Catholic Church already had the Sinaiticus and the Vaticanus, and they don't even agree with the ESV, but they have the earlier that you claim to have, but that's in different transcripts. And then you want to fall back on, well, they found new stuff. Yes, I know. You can go to the, uh, what is it, NTSF. I can't remember the uh, title of it. Well, you're going to find out when you go to that, uh, to look at what they found so far with Papyrus. Wow, I got that one out pretty well. You're going to find that's not there. Things like Luke 4.4, 4, which we're going to get into, it's not there. In fact, it's Luke 4, 1 through 3, but 4 is 
wasn't found in the earlier manuscripts. Well, the ones that they've been compiling at the New Testament churches, uh, New Testament churches, the New Testament Institute and so forth with all the uh, uh, papyrus and the unicals, unicals. Ah, I have a tough, tough time talking tonight. Sorry, guys. Long day. So, what's also interesting, if you turn to to uh, Daniel, which I didn't have my Bible open at that uh, for this, but let's go to it. I don't usually turn the pages live on air unless we're doing the uh, live stream. But let, I mean, I don't know why there's a lot of argument because it's funny because especially red letter stuff, you know, why why would you want to mess with that? And remember the copyright. I think it was copyright in 1923. That's why we have some of these issues. That's why some of this actually matches the NIV, except for things like and. You'll see, you'll find a verse like and will be capitalized, and the and and the other one will be not capitalized. I don't know if bait and switch is the right word I want to use, but that's kind of what happens. They fool you. I, I just... I'm just putting this out there for you guys to look at. Just side by side. You can make your own uh, judgment. You can you can choose whatever you want to choose. I'm not here to try to make you be a King James Bible believer. I am not trying to do that at all. I'm giving you information. If you see it, then you see it. If you don't, you don't. And if you don't have eyes to see, you're not going to see it. If you don't have ears to hear, you're not going to hear it. And that's fine. I'm not going to be angry. I'm not going to be mad. I'll be a little sad. But I've got to dust my feet off. So please understand, there is no intent of hatred, maliciousness, me trying to prove I'm smarter because I may or may not know some Greek, that I may or not have the Hebrew lexicon, that I've read Nestle and Allen, that I've researched uh, the Novum uh, Testamentum, that I have actually looked at the Hebrew uh, text itself, The Biblia Hebraica Stukentensia. And remember, there's a town in Germany called, look that up. All right, I don't want to spend too much on this. I want to end it there, but I just want to make you understand that you have to, one has to ask yourself, why take out certain things? And I'm not covering the these, the thous, and these. Don't, don't, get, don't get sucked into that baloney. And they have their place, by the way, but that is what they always fall on, is that. They don't fall on Jonah, the prophet's taken out. Jonah's not a prophet anymore. In ESV, NIV. I appreciate your time as always. And as always, God bless and have a beautiful evening.